Shalom, Kahala Yahweh Bashem Yoshai, Bashem Rukok Radash, double honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of Ben Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect where the house of David be born again in this generation, and Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to look into prophecy and how it'll help us discern who are the people in the land of Israel today. But let's read this first. This is a prophecy spoken about the Israelites when they returned to the land of Israel and what would happen to them. This is Micah 4 and 3. And he shall judge amongst many people. This is talking about the nation of Israel and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their plowshares or their swords into plowshares, excuse me, and they their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. So what you just seen was an attack on the nation of Israel by Palestinians, right? So that being said, if the biblical prophecy that, that says that the Israelites would dwell safely when they go back to that land, why is it that these Israelis are being attacked over and over again? by the other nations, right? Why is it that there is still war going on in the world, right? When basically everybody is supposed to be at peace, right? When the Israelites get back into their homeland, right? And why in the land of Israel are there public shelters? Shelters from what? From these rockets, of course. And why is that? Well, let's, let's double check. Let's make sure that the prophecies are right. This is Ezekiel 34 and 28. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beast of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. But they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. Do you think public shelters are needed because people are afraid? Do you think people are making them afraid? Well, what's up with this? Why is it that this, these events that are taking place in the land of Israel don't match up with biblical prophecy? Well, let's read this. This is 2 Ezra 6 and 19. I will begin to make an inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. Well, that's one prophecy that is definitely coming to pass because you see, what's going on right now is that the Lord is making an inquisition to those people who have hurt unjustly the Israelites, right? This is why you're seeing all these things going on right now where People are, uh, you know, coming out and revealing or exposing the these, you know, ish people, right? Trying to, uh, you know, basically point out that something just as 
as Apostle Tahar says, something is rotten in Denmark, right? The thing is, is, is things just don't add up. And namely, and, and, and first and foremost, it's the prophecies that don't line up. Because you see, even though, as you see here in this image, you had a, a historic event, right? Which happened during the, you know, World War II, which has garnered these Israelis a, a shield and, and, a, and a tool to get them into the land of Israel today. And not only that, but like I said, it's a shield to where they can put down any objection to themselves. Okay. So that being said, what about the, these people here on the left side of the scale, right? The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the people who have literally gone through biblical levels of cruelty, okay? Biblical levels of slavery, okay? Who have lost themselves to their conquerors, their, ident their identities, right? The identities of these people, for the most part, are that of their conquerors, right? Do you think the the Lopez's, the the Jackson, the you know the 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 Smiths last names that these people hold today were their original names? No. See that is a mark of people who have lost their heritage, right? But when you talk to the people who are in the land of Israel today, who claim to be the Jews. They say that they could trace their lineage all the way back to King David. When we all know, according to Jeremiah 17 and 4, that that is not biblical prophecy. Because the biblical prophecy states that the true Israelites, the Israelites of the Holy Bible, that they would lose their identity. Right? That they would no longer remember who they were. Right? What does this say? That true Israelites went into slavery and lost their heritage. Now, when you look at what happened to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it all matches up, okay? All three of these groups of people were all conquered and eventually went into a form of slavery, okay? And eventually came out of that captivity with the identities given to them by their conquerors, okay? So now, we gotta ask ourselves, right? We gotta make an inquisition. Who are those people in the land of Israel today? Well, there was a man by the name of uh, Gamal Abdul Nasser, who was the ex-president of Egypt. And this is what he said regarding the war for Israel. It says, when he was asked about peace in the Middle East, the late president of Egypt, Gamal Abdul Nasser, stated, The Jews will never be able to live here in peace because they left here black but came back white. So, again, I ask yourself, I, I ask you, who are those people in the land of Israel today? This is a biblical prophecy that tells you that, in, that there will come a time when there would be imposters namely the enemies of the nation of Israel, the Israelites, who would, who would basically come in and take over our land and claim that it was theirs, right? Let's read this. This is Ezekiel 36 and 2. Thus saith Yahweh, our power, because the enemy hath said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession, right? So there's going to be an enemies of the Israelites who's going to come at some time in history and are going to declare that Jerusalem, the ancient high places, are theirs. That they control it, that it is theirs. Okay? Let's skip down to verse 5. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh our power, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against the all Edom, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart. Now, what is that talking about? Well, let's go and take a look at the Bible timeline. 
and let's take a let's see if we can find out when these Israelis got the land known as Israel okay and to do that we have to go after World War one you gotta go right past the Titanic the time of the Titanic sink which is a whole other story into itself well let's go to 1917 when the Balfour Ford Declaration was created what does it say here the declaration was issued by the British government the British government is an Edomite nation right in fact here is I believe that's the uh, the Edomite uh, ex um, prime minister right and that's the Roth uh, the Lord Rothschild there that this Balfour declaration was written to by the British government during World War one declaring the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine then an Ottoman region with a minority Jewish population so you see that so it was Edomites appointing this land of Israel into other Edomites possession okay this is what that scripture is talking about there's some Jews in this house there's some Jews in this house there's I'm a certified Jew seven days a week praying three times a day yeet 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 singing Avinu Malkeinu my father my king dipping my chala in the hummus just like a king Anti-Semitism is on the rise, but we are not scared. Hashem's on the side. Haters stand blind, need to open their eyes. Cause hate will fall, but love will rise. Haters should know we don't flop, we don't stop. Don't be whack, don't be whack. I'm rapping to fillin', I'm gonna be chillin'. Don't act like a villain. Now this is a rap, this is a rap. Alright guys, remember to never let hate define who you are. Be proud, be loud, be you, and be blessed. L'chaim, l'chaim.